Hello everyone! So just in case you are a beginner in makeup or someone who does frequent traveling or a beginner who does frequent travel and you're wondering what are your must-have makeup brushes especially for those times I know you wouldn't want to bring all of this and you don't want to spend all of these for just makeup brushes right so if you want to know according to me what are the must-have makeup brushes then just stick around and watch this video okay so basically if you live in the philippines if you go to any of the department stores especially like watson's you'll be able to find those five-in-one brush sets which have five brushes right so basically um you get this five brushes right here so basically this is not just in one set okay these are actually different brands but yeah you, you have the idea you get these five brushes so you have your lip brush brow shading brush your basic eyeshadow brush Ooh, it's... <laughs> yeah then you have your brow comb brush and you have your blush brush slash powder brush slash everything else brush so yeah you got this five brushes basically if you're starting off you're going to have a bit of a problem especially if you want to do those fine lines those details yeah right okay so let us get started with the must-have makeup brushes here are the six must-have makeup brushes according to me but yes you can buy any makeup brushes especially if you're brush crazy like me I have like um, 20 brushes right here I actually have six on my table and I have one in my bag <laughs> yeah and basically I spent like 5,000 pesos worth of makeup brushes and I had this in within three years three to four years so yeah yeah if you are a foundation liquid foundation user you would probably use one of these if you're a starter this is your basic foundation brush yeah it's self-explanatory right but you can also use this for applying on your concealer because um concealers are usually liquid or cream based right and if you need um, extra precision because this one is a rather big brush see it's actually wider than my nostril so you can actually turn it to your to the side to apply to precisely apply your concealer especially if you want to go in those hard to reach areas see to set your foundation or your concealer with powder you will then use one of these so this one is actually a large angle contour brush see it's contouring it's actually art but you can actually get one which is like slightly sharper than this so yeah basically what this does you can use this for applying your powder foundation your mineral foundation then you can also use this for applying your highlight your blush your contour and the best part since it's angled you have you can actually apply it more precisely more precisely since basically you're applying it here in this area so you need slightly more angles so and it's just the right um, width and if you need it a bit more precise you can actually turn it to the side so you can just you can make thinner whatever then Let's go to your eyes because you already have something to set your out. You have something to set your foundation. You already have your blush, your highlight, your contour. So let's go on to the eyes. So for your eyebrows and for your eyeliner, you can actually use one of this. One of these things. This is actually a small angled liner brush. Yes, it's a liner brush. And the best part is if you're using a liquid or a gel liner you can actually turn it to the side you can apply it that way and the best part is aside from applying your liner with it you can actually draw individual hairs and they look very realistic especially if you get a stiffer one actually this one is not that stiff see it actually bends but you can actually get one which is um harder 
for your brows but I actually bought a softer one because um, my eye my waterline and my eyelids are rather sensitive to hard brushes so yeah this is a good brush for shading your eyebrows and creating those fine lines especially here in that area and if you're grooming your brows you can use one of these things it's a brow comb brush you get your brow slash lash comb and you get this brow brush too what this can do is that it can separate your um, eyelashes especially if you have clumpy mascara on you can use it for grooming your eyebrows to the desired shape that you like and if you overdid it with sh with your shading you can actually use this thing to diffuse the color or to spread out the ver the harshness of your brow shadow wonderful thing let's go on to your eyelids if you're coloring your eyelids you would get one of these things it is actual this one is actually a blending brush but compared to a regular eyeshadow brush it's actually thicker so yeah you have actually more precision in using this thing and you yep you have more precision in using this thing so you can use this for creating your your defined crease you can use this for actually overall shading of your eyelid you can use this for creating your um, highlight for your brow even your nose you can even use this for contouring your um whatever you want to contour right you wouldn't want to forget your lips right because yeah you would actually get one of these too for a lip brush i would suggest getting a synthetic lip brush instead of a natural fibered one so you would rather get the one on your you would rather get this one instead of this one because the nice thing about synthetic fiber lip brushes is that ooh I cannot reach it is that they don't separate especially if you're applying your cream or liquid products unlike a natural fiber one which after certain use it actually spreads out a recap of your must-have makeup brushes for your liquid foundation and your concealer, you would use your regular foundation brush. For your all-over powder, highlight your contour, your blush, you would use your large angle contour brush. For your eyebrows and for your eyelining, you would use your small angled liner brush. For your brows and your lashes, you can use a brow comb brush for separating and diffusing the colors there. A blending brush to Create your crease all over eye color, highlight, and contour. And lastly is your lip brush for your whatever lip products, okay? So basically these are just six brushes, but you know, you don't have to get these if you don't want to listen to me. <laughs> because this is just my opinion. So if you're a beginner or you want to do frequent travel or you're... A beginner who does frequent travel i hope that this helps you in the long run and whatever ever what have you and yes until my next video see you next time